The white space between Bible verses is fertile soil for questions. One can hardly read scripture without whispering, I wonder. The innkeeper too busy to welcome God. Did he ever learn who he turned away? The shepherds, did they ever hum the song the angels sang? The wise men who followed the star, what was it like to worship a toddler? And Joseph, did he ever look up from his prayers and see Jesus listening? <laughs> Whatever happened to him? His role in Act 1 is so crucial that we expect to see the rest of the drama, but with the exception of a short scene with 12-year-old Jesus in Jerusalem, he never reappears, and we're left with our questions. My first question would be about the night in the stable. Moonlit pastures, stars twinkling above, Bethlehem sparkles in the distance. I picture Joseph there pacing outside the stable. He'd done all he could do to prepare as comfortable a place for Mary as he could in the barn. Then he stepped out. She'd asked to be alone, and Joseph has never felt more so. And that eternity between his wife's dismissal and Jesus' arrival... What was he thinking? I wonder if he said, This isn't the way I planned it, God. Not at all. My child being born in a cave with sheep and donkeys. My wife giving birth with only the stars to hear her pain. This isn't what I imagined. Now, I imagine family, grandmothers, neighbors clustered outside the door and friends standing at my side. I, I imagine the house erupting with the first cry of the infant. Slaps in the back, loud laughter, jubilation. But now look, here we are in a sheep pasture. Who will celebrate with us? Did I miss something, God? When you sent the angel and spoke of the sun being born, I, I guess I envisioned Jerusalem, the temple, the priest, and the people gathered to watch. A pageant, perhaps, a parade. The bouquet, at least. I mean, this is the Messiah. This is not the way I wanted it to be for my son. Oh my, I did it again, didn't I, Father? I don't mean to do that. It's just that I forgot. I, I forget. I, he, he's, he's not my son. He's, he's, he, he's your son, I mean. He's, he's yours. The child is yours. The plan is yours. The idea is yours. And forgive me for asking, but is this how God enters the world? The coming... The coming of the angel, I accepted. I, the questions people asked about the pregnancy, I, I can tolerate that. The trip to Bethlehem, fine. But why a birth in a stable, God? Any minute now, Mary's going to give birth, not to a child, to the Messiah. Not to an infant, but to God. That's what the angel said. That's what Mary believes. And God, my God, that's what I want to believe. But surely you can understand, it's not easy.